wanted to get on here because I delivered the three tables that I finished yesterday to my client and she loved them so I'm really 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 happy and it was really awesome when I was delivering them she's like I actually have another piece that you might be interested in working on if you have the time and I'm like oh my gosh let me see it and she showed it to me and of course I'm like yes I want to work on this so uh, she helped me load it up in my car and I get to start working on it so that I wanted to show you what that next piece looked like so this is it it is an entertainment center and uh, she got it at Goodwill for like $30 but as you can see there are some scuffs some little nicks in the top and I'm gonna give this a rustic farmhouse makeover and I'm very 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 excited to work on this it's gonna be really fun and I can't wait to share the process with you I'm doing some sanding today so I am outside I got my cable set up for my power sander which I have right here um, I'm gonna be power sanding the top of this piece and as you can see I have all my refills for my power sander with different uh, with different grades of uh, roughness but I just wanted to show you really quickly the paint that I'm gonna be using for this piece for the base uh, it's by deco art it's called treasure treasure is the name of this uh, this color so I'm really excited to work with this one. It's my first time working with this specific color. I've worked with several other colors from Deco Art, and I love their chalk paint, so definitely make sure you check them out because they sent me this paint, and I am so grateful.
mousses. I also have a gray one, but I think this briar smoke one's like perfect for like a rustic farmhouse look. And then you can see I have it set up for uh, the shelf and the two cabinet doors. And I'm gonna be working on those today as well, just doing little touch up paint spots. I'm almost out of my deco art paint uh, completely in this color. So I'm like, I had just enough to finish this project. Thank goodness. Anyway, so that's basically what I'm gonna be working on today um, before it starts raining again. Uh, and then I'm also gonna be taking sandpaper and just uh, aging down the edges and the corners just to continue that rustic farmhouse look. Also changed out the hardware on the poles of the cabinets so I'm pretty stoked about that I think it looks a lot better and I just aged it down with some sandpaper um, I was gonna use some dark furniture wax but I ended up liking how it looked like just with the clear and the sanding I didn't want it to look too dark um, it's such a bright color uh, and I really wanted it to pop and I feel like the the sanding of the edges that I did do is all it needed so yeah I'm about to go ahead and start clear coating this add a little letter, extra layer of protection on the paint job and oh let me show you what the inside looks like because I am that weird person that likes to paint the interior of things I think it adds uh, another layer of um, uh, cohesiveness I painted the backs of the cabinets and I painted the interior sometimes people don't like to paint the interior but I do anyways so that's what it looks like mm -hmm. 